Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another tutorial. Um, today we're going to be making a very interesting and different project using a signature folded page. We're going to be doing a waterfall element on the front and then on the inside, um, because of the way we're going to attach this closure, we'll have a belly band on the back side. So let me show you my prototypes. I did about four of these before I mastered it. So this is the full P page, okay? So depending on which side you want to make in to your waterfall would determine if it's on the left or on the right. I liked this one better in this case and so that's what I focused on so when this goes into a signature it's on the back the other side so um, so in the way that I closed it because these always flop up right they don't lay down flat um, I just attached um, I used a vellum obviously as you can see there and I glued it at the top on the other side before I put the belly band on and then on the back on the bottom piece I um, folded it over I glued these this circle on to the bottom of this and then I put velcro dots to attach it to the belly band the top of the belly band obviously so that we can open it so that was a nifty idea I'm super excited about that oh well let me show you what it looks like though goodness gracious so then it opens up like this you can flip this up right like that and you've got one two three large journaling spots. Now, just as before, one could also put another piece of paper here, as I've done before, and I might come back and do that just to make it more functional, but all of this can be written on. So it's super versatile, lots of writing space, and super fun to make. It looks like I didn't ink, I didn't ink this edge, so. There we go. So that is prototype number uh, one. I'm not going to open the other one up. It's exactly the same. Uh, well, I actually will open it up. So this one's on the front page, so it will be on the, um, it's on the this side. <laughs> um, same closure. Open it up. Flip it up. Now, um, depending on your design, your image, you might not exactly, it's hard to line everything up perfectly but I think it worked pretty good. This one's a little bit off, but um, again, perfection is not at play in the studio. Have fun, experiment with something new, and, um, and just, yeah, have fun. So there we go, there's number two. So I've got some what I call ghetto notes, so um, if this goes well and I feel like it's, um, it's following my process, I will type this up and I'll take a picture of it and put it at the photos at the end of the video. So it, again, it took me about uh, four tries to get it right. So I'm gonna set that aside as well. Um, it is early Sunday morning and I am still drinking my coffee. But I know that my husband needs to get in here probably and do the taxes at some point. This is a... Uh, April the 7th, <laughs> so um, yeah, that needs to happen. Uh, so I've got these really um, thin Velcro dots, so those are what we'll be using for the closures. I've got my Vintage Photo Archival Ink, as you just saw me uh, grab. I've got my Barely Arts, my Fabri-Tac. I use the Fabri-Tac for putting the, um, the waterfall pieces together because then you have time to move it around. And, um, and then I've got the Barely Arts for the vellum. So I've just got a pencil here, I'll need that as well. You'll need a score tool or however you prefer to score things. I actually lost the one already that went on here. I don't know, it's probably under my desk, under one of the cabinets. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna set that over there. I have my uh, cutter over there, so I'll have to be turning to that. I did grab a large, my large circle punch. This is a two inch um, to cut some circles to make those um, interesting, um, some interesting de direction, d uh, interesting decoration if I choose. So I'm just going to move that a little bit here. So we're going to make one for the Sweet Yvonne journal using this paper, and then we'll talk about how much you need of this as we go along here before we start. And then I'm going to do one for the um, the um, 
I'm using the collaboration papers and I'm selling a journal that I'm making using those papers. So I thought I would use this image, one of my favorites. So I'm going to set that over there because we don't need it yet. Move some things out of the way here. All right, I'm not even in I'm not even dressed this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so I've already cut my piece of vellum and it is just um, the size it's, I think it's 11 inches let me grab my ruler um, it'll be whatever the size of a digital is so oh 10 and just over 10 and a half because once I cut my my borders off my white borders it always ends up being shorter I leave it the full length so I have plenty to fold over on the top and the bottom when we get to that point I'm just going to set that up there now what you need is you need four pieces of the same exact digital paper, okay? So I went ahead and cut all of my edges off, and so we're ready to go. So I'm just going to separate, oh, I guess my other, my extra bits are underneath that other stack. So um, you do want to print on both sides, so I did the image on one side, and I did that beautiful um, coffee dyed paper, tea stained paper from Ruby and Pearl's Beautiful Birds Kit and I um, backed them all with that. The other one has a different backing. So what you wanna do is you're gonna take your first page and you're gonna fold it in half, just like you would uh, put it in a signature. So I'm just gonna do that really quick. I got some white border showing. I didn't flip my paper right, so it ended up messing up, but that's okay when I printed the, the back. So you're just going to crease that really, really well. And then you want to think about which one do you want to be your front, being your your um, waterfall element. or or So do you want this one or do you want this one? I think today I'm going to pick this one because it's a little bit compl less complex and it will be easier to show you how to line everything up. So we've got that. So that's ready. And then with your other pieces, you want to... Um, we're going to cut these in half. So let me see if I can do this in an easy way here. So this is because I folded all of them and then I cut them, but I'm thinking. So I can't see that. So it's five and three eighths. So uh, five and three eighths. So let's just do that. Let's go ahead and just um, do this manually um, rather than folding them all. And then I can use this for something else. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, make sure that they're all nicely snug together and they're even. I'm going to set my ruler on here and I'm going to find my 5 and 3 eighths mark, which is right here. And I think I'm going to go up to the top though so I can make a line that's going to make sense for cutting. I would suggest you cut them all at the same time so that you know that they are all the same size. So making a mark there and I'm going to go ahead and turn to my cutter and cut this half off. Okay that should be right so let's put this in here. Oh, five and three eighths exactly. Perfect. So the next thing you're going to want to do is we're going to take a moment and I think we're going to ink this up so that it, well, I guess we can ink it later um, because nothing's going to get in the way of our inking around the edges. Pardon me. So the um, very first, so then you're going to want to take your first, um, I'm just looking at my directions. Um, your first um, page, um, this here. So see how it's exactly the same width. So actually, we oh, it's not quite right. Why is it different? It should be exactly the same. See how it's hanging over? What? What, what, what? Maybe it's just not a straight cut because it's not hanging over everywhere. So we're gonna go with it. So, um, you want to actually, let me back up, you want to keep these together because now we're going to cut off, um, we're going to cut off a half an inch on each side and the top and the bottom because I don't necessarily want it to kind of mirror this entire piece of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's really hard to do this on my cutter because I can't see the one inch mark. So I'm going to actually, let me paper clip this so that it doesn't move. hard to be completely prepared on a Sunday morning. There we go. So I'm going to go um, 
half an inch from the sides. So right there. And this is what I learned um, by doing this um, it, so many times that it was easier to just cut them all at once. So they're going to be more apt to be even. So that's that side. And then we need to get this side. The tricky part will be I'll probably cut off my marks. And that happens a lot. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so let me just trim these down. Okay. So don't worry if you're slightly off. The idea is that they're all the same size. So they are all the same size. So you have three pieces here, because this is your, you had four digitals, three of them are cut down, one is your base, okay? So um, we got some white on the top of that. I'm really unhappy with that, but we will work with it. So the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is, um, so we cut off the half, we're gonna score the top of the first one. So you're gonna do these one by one because every time it's gonna be a little bit different. So I'm gonna set that those aside and I'm going to go ahead and bring my score tool over and we're gonna score at 3 8 of an inch. You could of course score at any, um, any height or any width that you wanted to. You just wanna, you'd have to change all your measurements going forward. So this is not, uh, this is a complex project, so I'm just going to score that at 3 8 of an inch. Okay, I'm going to do it twice just to get a good score line. Okay, set that aside. Now, obviously, the height of this is also going to be changed, right? Because we, we don't want this whole length every single time because that will create a lot of bulk. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to line this up with your digital. So... We're gonna try our hardest to line this up to those flowers at the top, okay? So this is tricky, so take your time. That looks pretty darn good right there. So see how everything looks seamless? Perfect. So then what I did is I went ahead and made a pencil line on the top. Okay, that's just a, a good guide for this first step. And um, what I want to do though, before I glue this down, oh man, I do want to ink the back of this because I like that to be inked and it's easier to do it when it's, before it's glued. I'm not gonna glue all the way, or ink all the way down because I know I'm gonna be cutting some of that off. Okay, like that. Okay, I'm not gonna ink anything on the outside because I want it to be seamless. So this is where your Fabri-Tac is going to be your friend because it will allow you to move this a lot. So I'm going to open that up so I can get a good amount of glue here. Boom. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of slightly push that down so I can in here I have to angle this for my own view so basically what I do is I take this up hold it like this bump it up here line it up as best you can on the first go but you have time to move it so now I can turn it and I can kind of line that all up this would not work if you were using a white glue you would not be able to move it at this point so there we go that looks amazing okay give that a good press Open it up though because you want to be able to, I forgot to cut it down. I should have cut that down before I glued it on, but that's okay. <clears throat> um, so what you want to do is cut, I think my next one was to cut off, um, oh, I didn't make score top to know where to uh, glue on. I recommend Fabri-Tac. I didn't talk about how much to cut off. so. Um, cause this is piece one. I believe I did two and a half inches on each of them. So my apologies guys. I thought I had, I slept. So that's what's wrong. So, um, so now I'm going to measure from this point down two and a half inches and we're going to cut it off. Okay. We'll still be able to do this without a problem, even though I should have done it before I uh, glued this on. So note to self. I'm also going to get my eraser in here and just erase that pencil line so I can see it. Boom. OK. 
Okay, there we go. Now always when you flip them up, it seems like they're never even, like if you look at it like this, not a problem. Okay, so I'm gonna turn to my cutter and cut that off. Boom. So don't throw this away, you can use it for something. So we're not gonna use it in this particular project. That is not straight. I do not think that is straight, so let me see. Two and a half. Nope, I guess it is. My eyes deceive me. <laughs> now we can ink this uh, top bit. Again, I'm not inking on the outside. I want that to remain seamless. I think this is what's throwing me, so the digital, this digital line is, is not straight, so not a problem. So now you want to grab your, your um, this would be your uh, second piece. Okay, and um, well, just one of them. And you're going to cut off 3 eighths of an inch and then score 3 eighths of an inch. So this is what worked for me. Um, there's probably a better way. I'm sure there's a better way, but this is what we're doing. So I'm just going to mark this with my pencil and my ruler and I am accounting for that little white bit to, just to keep everything nice and even. Oh, that's a half, that's not three eighths. Three eighths. I'm gonna make a line there, okay? And I'm gonna make another line for my score line so we can kind of do it at the same time. So this, uh, this would be our score line. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's our cut. So now I can bring this. So that got rid of that white edge. That was nifty. And then we're going to score. Okay, three eighths of an inch. Hold this firm. I always lose my lose my grip, and then I end up getting a, a crooked score line. So there we go. Okay, and before we um, put this on, we will um, before we glue it, we will um, do it correctly and cut that extra off. Grabbing a bone folder. Got a good crease, okay? And then we're gonna bring this over and we're going to line it up. How did we line this up? That's great, yep. So see how I, I'm able to line it up to that so I know we're doing pretty, pretty darn good. And I'm also able to see that my leaves over here are lining up, my flowers over here are lining up uh, for the most part. Do we need to bring that over a little bit? Nope. So again, um, don't don't worry about being perfect. It does not matter, okay? So there's that. So that's perfect. That worked out great. It looks like we're a little bit high here, but that doesn't matter. It's gonna overlap that previous layer just a smidge. Um, you know, sometimes cuts are not are not perfect. This is not even though. Hold on, let me let me adjust that and see if we get a better a better result here. Sometimes I'm impatient. Oh, that's much better. So much better. Let me show you up close what I'm talking about. So it doesn't seem like I'm talking Greek to you. So when I'm looking at this paper, it's lining up here, it's lining up at that leaf, and it's lining up at these flowers, and it's lining up at the bottom leaf. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, but again, before we glue it, we're going to measure from that fold line, that score line, down two and a half inches. Okay, so I'm going to make a mark here, and I'm going to trim that off. Again, don't throw those extra pieces away. Oh, I did that wrong. Ah, I did that before too. What did I do wrong? It's two and a half inches from here. Okay, I'm going to have to print another one of these. So let me start over. My apologies, you guys. Yikesies. What did I do? What did I do? Ah. See how it's the same? Dumb. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try this again. So we're gonna cut off three eighths of an inch. Oh my goodness. I knew there would there would be something that would go wrong because this is um it's a little bit complex, so give yourself a lot of grace, okay? So you do want to make sure that you have the ability to print four of these or more just so that you can um, continue to, to try. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna score at the 3 8 of an inch line. Thing is, when you make a lot of mistakes, you do intend to be able to um, 
really uh, refine your process. I'm doing this right. I don't know. The jury's out. Yeah, we're in the same place that we were. Okay, so that is that. So again, we're pretty lined up right there. So let me think about this because let me look at the prototype. Let's look at the prototype. Yeah, so see how this is my top flap. This is the next one. So I did that wrong. It should be two and a half inches from the bottom, not from the top. Goodness gracious. Okay, so that's in place. So we can, let's get rid of those extra pencil marks. You can see them. Okay, so that's tucked in there. I'm going to try to line it up as best I can just so that I get a good, a good two and a half inch cut that makes sense here. So I'm just kind of fudging that a little bit. Okay. Fold that down and we're going to cut from two and a half inches from that point. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's kind of hard to see because we're not inking, right? So, but it, it doesn't have to be, for this, these measurements um, don't have to be perfect. Okay, so I'm just making a pencil mark there. I'm going to turn to my trimmer and trim that off. Okay, so now you stick it in there and see how it's sticking down further. That's what we want. So we're going to go ahead and ink this on the back. You know, guys, sometimes we're learning together, so please be gentle with me. Um, I am bringing you sometimes my raw creativity. And as a YouTube creator, we can't always come to the table and, and, and do everything perfectly. This is how we learn. It's how you learn. It's how I learn. So um, we'll have to t I'll have to pause the camera and print another digital, though, before we can move to the next one. But... We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So now we've already got this as a as a guide, so we don't need to make a pencil mark. So we're gonna go ahead and put our fabric tack on here. I like to open it up just easier to get a good application here. I wouldn't advise doing this with white glue because you're not gonna have the time to move it um, unless you're super fast, unless you're lightning speed. I am not, okay? So again, I'm just turning it so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna just initially set that down right there. And then I'm gonna turn it so that I can see everywhere that it's lining up before I start really pressing things. So I can see that it needs to come over. Okay, it needs to come over, over. There we go. Perfecto. Awesome, it lined up beautifully. Okay, be sure to open that up right away in case you got any glue um, oozing over. So I'm gonna take a quick moment and print another one of those digitals and I'll be right back. Okay, I printed one more uh, page because I messed that up. So again, we're going to cut off uh, 3 eighths of an inch off of the top and a score at 3 eighths of an inch. So ruler. And as I mentioned, there's probably an easier way to do this, but you know, it's okay. Boom. Okay. Let's go ahead and score at three eighths of an inch as well. We might not get through two of these, you guys. We might not. This is uh, this is taking a lot of time, and I just. Got a message that my kids, all the local kids, are coming for dinner. So I have to change my plans for today, which is okay. But it means I need to get going here this morning a little bit quicker than I had planned. So it's all right. Okay, perfect. You only get one time with family. I mean, obviously we see each other a lot, but you never know when something's going to happen. You know? People want to get together it brings the family together it's a good thing okay so we're gonna go ahead and move this stuff I'm feeling cluttered now okay so we're gonna slide this under here and we're gonna see how we're doing lining up looks great so this one 
You butt it right up into that in the, into that crevice there, okay? Boom, okay? And then we do have to move it because it's not lining up, so something's amiss. Not a problem though, don't worry about it. Since I didn't cut that at the same time, my measurements might be slightly off. They are, look at that. So that should have been my cut line. Oh my goodness, goodness gracious. Oh, everything's off. Everything's off. What did I do? Okay, we're gonna have to roll with it because I can't continue to do this, so. Okay, we're there now, that was tricky. It's a little, there's a little bit, I can tell it's not quite lined up, but I am going to be okay with that. So it just means we have less of a space there, but I am not going to worry about it. And we're, again, because I didn't cut them all at the same time, like I did the first time, it's going to be a little bit off, but I'm not going to worry about it. So you can see that this one actually goes all the way to the bottom. So I'm just gonna cut off just about a quarter of an inch off the bottom and have that just be that really long piece, okay? You could do this however you choose. So let's go ahead and ink the back of this. So again, perfection is not at play in the studio, guys. Don't feel like you have to scrap something because it didn't perfectly line up or it didn't perfectly fit or it didn't perfectly look like you want it to look. It's okay. It's really okay. So now we're going to go ahead and get that in there. It's a little bit off as I mentioned, but I'm okay with it. So ink that up. Ink it up. Oh my goodness. Fabri-Tac glue. Another sip of coffee. I really need it. Okay. So and then I like to just give it a little push so it'll bend, bend to my will. Okay, and I'm going to line this up here. I'm going to, well, actually, this is not going to be at that line. It's going to go here. So it's not going to be a problem, though, because it's not going to show. So we're going to pull this up so that it's ma matching as best we can on every at every juncture here, okay? Again, as best we can. So we're pretty good there. And we're pretty good here. Not bad at all, okay? I'm not sure why it looked so off. I was just impatient, I guess. So there you go. Again, open that up just in case you've got any glue overflowing. So you can't really tell that you didn't, I mean, you can tell if you look that you don't have as much there. You could totally have butted this up there and just accounted for that, but I didn't do that. So that's perfect. Look at how seamless that, oh, that's not quite seamless. Let's see. Let's see if we can fudge it a little bit. Come on. Come on. Come on. This was very complicated. <laughs> complicated for me to create. I just really wanted this like seamless junk journal signature page and I think we accomplished that so I'm going to take a moment and just ink around this and then we're going to do our vellum closure I might continue on and do the second one since I need to make it anyway and then I can just speed up parts of that and make the video be a little bit shorter so you could hang around if you wanted to but if you need to move on with your life you could do that as always um, we do want to ink on the inside at least of this half, okay, because we're going to be putting a belly band there. Get a hold of it, Karen. Get a hold of yourself. There we go. i have changed that sponge again. All right, so beautiful. Now, a person could also do a little bit of Velcro here, or I did do a prototype where I ran a piece of seam binding and then tied it, but I didn't like that look. It felt really loosey-goosey and not very pretty. So on this side, we're gonna put our belly band. So I already have that piece cut. Uh, it's now under my keyboard since I had to move everything. So I'm gonna ink around the edges of this. This is that beautiful bird's background paper that is on the back of these digitals. Uh, I just printed that on vellum for the last, for one of my prototypes. So I'm just using another piece of that. Don't need to reinvent the wheel. 
There we go. So then what I did is I just kind of put this up here. I want a little bit more on the bottom than the top if I have to choose. So, and I'm just kind of trying to center it a little bit. We can adjust it. And I'm just gonna pick this up so that I can fold that over just to give it a pinch and then take it off so that I can actually make sure that it's straight like that, okay? A little bit of ink on that edge. And then we're going to put it back in place, okay, like that. And then we're gonna do the same at the bottom. So I'm gonna just go in off my table a little bit just to get that pinch. There we go. Again, line that up with your, make sure this edge is even and you'll be, you'll be golden. Okay, there we go. And now we can glue it on. So I use my uh, Barely Arts glue when I use vellum. So we're gonna put some glue on the inside of this. I'm just kind of eye spying it. It's a little bit hard to see. Uh, probably if you look at the very top would be easier and I'm just gonna kind of move that over. Again, if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. And it's not a problem. Don't worry about that showing because we're gonna put a belly band on the other side as well. Okay. And then I think we'll do the other one as far as um, construction and I just don't won't do any decorating or the closure on the second one because I think this first go is a little bit rough. So then we're going to turn this over and we're going to create the belly band for the inside before we finish that. So I'm thinking I can just use a hat, one of the other, the other side of that digital and put it right here. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna just mark it and cut it, I'm not measuring. I think it's about two inches. You can make your belly band any width you want, but it is two inches, so perfect. Okay. Go ahead and ink that up. You could do another vellum belly band, but I liked being able to do this and have it cover up the um, at least the top uh, piece of the vellum closure. Okay. So now we're going to glue the top on. So I'm just going to put a bead of glue along the top edge. Turn this just so I can get it on there straight. All the way to the top. Okay. Give that a second to set. I've got some things to go to here, but just for the sake of time, since this is a little bit wonky, I'll probably do the decorating off camera but you can certainly see it in the videos at the end. Okay, so we're a little bit crooked there. Okay, so now this is gonna come up like that. Actually, it's actually not long enough. What happened? What happened? It's okay, we'll deal with it. Perfection is not at play. So now we're gonna put the Velcro dots on these corners here. So right here. So I'm going to put the, um, the hard side down on the vellum right here. And another one on the other side. You could probably get away with just one, but I'm um, doing two. Okay, and then we're going to get the soft part. Just uh, put the soft part on there so that you know that you're completely lined up. It's a little sticky, but that's okay. It's worth it. Okay, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome, okay. Now um, we can glue this down. I wish that was longer. I don't know what happened there, but it's okay. I put a little bit of glue here. Okay, boom. And just kind of fudging that a little bit to one side because it's not straight and attach, okay. The only other thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and cut our circle to put um, here. And I believe I used, which one did I use? I used the bigger punch, so I used the two inch punch, I believe. I'm just reaching for my prototype to see, <laughs> to see which size punch I used. I think it was the, yes, yeah, the two inch. So. so I'm just going to cut one just out of this paper. Actually, maybe this right here would be interesting. Just a little bit of that flower and a little bit of the that edge is pretty. Okay. 
And this is just going to help it be a little bit more decorative. Okay. And we're just going to, oh, that's really actually pretty. Do I want it on the side? I think I want it on the side. I'm just going to attach that. So I'm just kind of estimating here, and I'm just going to turn it and put my thumb there and not put my glue above that line. Perfect. I say perfect a lot, but I really don't mean perfect. I mean, I'm satisfied. It's working well, is what I mean when I say that. I'm just setting that there. Gives a little bit of a decoration there. I can probably put a word or something on there later. But that is our first one. And I also will do something to decorate the top of this, the front of this, maybe with those circles or something else. I'm not sure, but that holds that closed. It could be a little bit tighter. Um, now that I'm looking at it, it is popping up quite a bit, but it's still holding it closed. So let's do the second one. I'm going to focus on the construction just so you can see that one more time um, a little bit smoother. So I'm going to bring these papers over, and this is a scrap of the vellum from, um, I believe this is from Angela Kerr's um, kit. So I'm going to set that over there. And then all of my borders are already cut off, so same thing. This is a bunch of extra ephemera that I'll use to decorate and stuff. But again, I'm, I'm focusing on the construction for you guys. Okay, so we're going to take our first page. Step one is take your first page, fold it in half. We got a white border at the top again. Bummer. Which you could totally rectify that and make it just a little bit shorter. It's just not going to be the same as all of my signature pages because mine are generally eight and a quarter but that's okay we'll deal with it okay so we've got that I definitely want to use this side this is one of my favorite images in the kits and so um, so let's just measure this again and make sure that we're um, the same distance here is five and oh it's a little bit wider than five and three eighths what happened can I fold it crooked well, I don't know so weird. It's not five and three eighths. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try a little little shortcut here, and I'm gonna set this on here. And we're not gonna use the ruler. I'm just going to line it up. A little shortcut. Okay. I'm just making sure it's even on that edge. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mark this on this edge. Whoops, that was not the right spot. There we go. So now I can cut all these at one time, as I mentioned before. So I'm going to cut all the way up there. Now we are exactly the same width and we're the same height. So they're the mirror image of the base. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm just going to, I'm not, I'm not going to mark it on camera, but I'm, I'm going to cut off half of an inch on each side, half of an inch on the top and the bottom. So I'll be right back. All right, we are ready for the next step. So same as in our first one that we did together, um, all of our pages, all of our papers measure the exact same. And if you want to know the measurements, if you're curious about that, this is measuring with the half of an inch taken off, uh, four and three eighths by by seven and a quarter. Um, and I forgot to mention the prototype, the one that we did just now, that was using the, um, oh, and I just, it fell out of my mind. It's chapter one papers. I will link it, guys, below. <laughs> and then, um, so yeah, we can continue on. Feeling a little flabbergasted here. <laughs> okay, so again, page, or uh, first one. So we're gonna go ahead and um, the first one, we score the top. We don't have to cut any more off the top. We're going to score at 3 eighths of an inch. So let me get that score tool back over here. And we're going to do that really quickly. Perfect. Go ahead and fold that and give it a good crease. erase those lines. I'm seeing pencil lines again. 
Okay. So before we um, glue it on this time, we're going to cut off to two and a half. I'm just going to make sure that I'm, I'm telling you correctly here. So from there to there, two and a half. Alrighty. So let me go ahead and do that first before we do anything else. So I'm just lining this up with the top and we're going to mark it at two and a half inches. There we go. Let me just trim that. All right. Yay. We're off and running. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and ink this. Now, if you wanted to um, see that it's that it's uh, pieces, you could totally ink the outside as well, but I don't want that look, so I'm not doing that. Okay, so now we're at that place where we're going to line everything up for our first our first set here. So we are obviously we're going to go over that bird, so we're going to just kind of line up along the flowers here. Okay, and we're just going to. Do our best to get that in place. Oh, we need to go up a little bit. It's kind of hard because the flowers are somewhat um, abstract, but that looks really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a pencil line here. You don't really have to mark the whole width because we're going to see where it needs to line up from uh, side to side. So, alrighty. So there's our pencil line. I'll go ahead and put some fabric tack on here. I almost put that in my coffee. <laughs> I have my Fabri-Tac turned over in a bottle there, so it is always ready to go. Okay, so I'm turning that again, just giving that a little flip, forcing it down a little bit. We're gonna set this down, and then we're going to pick it up right away so we can line up everything. So, so the flowers are a little bit off, so I'm just moving it over a little bit looks really good really good I'm thinking that looks really good so I'm just gonna press that down still have a little bit more wiggle room so that line was not straight at the top what did I do Let me make sure I'm not crooked over here half of an inch half of an inch looks fine to me all the, even the lettering coming down looks great, so that's awesome. So let's just go ahead and erase that line because that's gonna drive me batty since it was a crooked line. I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, so that is our first one. So on our second one, we are going to take the page and we're gonna cut um, 3 eighths of an inch off and then score at 3 eighths of an inch. And again, you would have to modify your measurements if you're not doing it the same size as me. So you just want to keep that in mind. So that's 3 eighths of an inch for the cut and 3 eighths of an inch for the score line. Okay. So that's trimmed off. So we're going to go ahead and get this in our score tool. And I didn't need to really mark the, the 3 eighths of an inch. I'm doing better with the score tool. So it's right on my pencil line, so that's a great way to check though and make sure everything is going as you planned. So we're gonna go ahead and fold that over, give it a good burnish. Okay, erase the pencil marks. Excellent. Okay, so Kara Renee, you're gonna measure. <laughs> Kara Renee and audience, you're gonna measure two and a half inches from Oh, that lined up perfectly. Look at that. Wowza. Look at those birds. They're absolutely perfect. I love it. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to mark two and a half inches from here. So that's our, our this is where the top one is ending. So we're going to go down two and a half right here. Let me go ahead and trim that off. Awesome possum. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, ink this one up. 
it will be almost done. I know this has been a little bit funky and weird, so I hope that you'll forgive me for that. Sometimes I come to the table feeling very prepared and I'm not just going to trash the video and I'm not going to stop creating because I'm not at my best on any given day because, you know, who needs, I don't want to learn from somebody who's perfect. I want to learn from somebody who is not afraid to be human. And again, it's not an excuse for being lazy or it's not about not caring. It's about releasing myself from unrealistic expectations you know perfectionism is a trap I talk about that a lot in my life it's a trap I was a perfectionist for a really long time I still have some of those components but not nearly like I did so look at that that was like seamless on the first try so that is perfect so see how our bird is lined up our bird tail over here is lined up even well it looks like our stems might be a little bit off but we're not going to worry about that give that a good press open it up right away in case you have any oozing glue and you're good and golden that is so beautiful oh my gosh so beautiful okay our last one same process we're going to cut off three eighths of an inch at the top and I honestly don't know if this is super necessary, but it was the way that I worked out how this is going to work out. <laughs> so my process. So you guys can do what you want to do. And again, this is, um, I believe that this particular image is from the Rachel and Bella side of the um, Creating a Garden Story collaboration uh, kits. So um, yeah. Although some of the ephemera that I add will be a mix of both kits, but I will link both of them in the video description box. So there's our score line. I apologize for being a little bit more of a hurry this morning than I had planned on being, but you know, sometimes our plans don't, don't hold, you know. I was really, really um, looking forward to a day, a quiet day, because we had the boys over yesterday for and overnight yesterday uh, overnight Friday night so that's it's exhausting for this Grammy and Papa <laughs> so we had a great time but it's it's a lot so but our other daughter a younger daughter was on a vacation for spring break I went down to spend a week with her new in-laws so I'm I'm excited to hear how that all went so let's go ahead and ink this up and then we're gonna look at how it's lining up if we need to cut any off the bottom slide that in there see what's going on here okay we're gonna just set that there and just see where oh whoa what happened that happened again what did I do so I have to probably double that three eighths it needs to be six eighths which is what two fourths if my math is correct because I'm butting up again to that so I need to trim this off okay I need to trim that off I'm gonna ink it so I can see it in my cutter and then I'm going to score again. My apologies guys. I should have remembered that from the first one and I did not. Not a big deal. Okay, let's score again. Again, three-eighths of an inch. Not a big, not a big deal. Um, and your your clue would be this. So see how I should have noticed that before. I would have noticed that this was in the same spot rather than it being higher. So that was just me. I visually missed that. So not a problem though. Okay, so let's set this in here. We don't have to trim any off the bottom. It's coming down perfectly. It's leaving about a half of an inch on the bottom as well. So we can glue it on. And then I'm going to let you go. You already saw me do the Velcro closure pretty simple and straightforward if you have any questions you can let me know um, I'd love to um, hear your feedback I know again this was a little bit rougher than some of my other videos uh, I do aim to be a little bit more concise but you know 
the best laid plans don't always work out. So I'm just lining that up and again I want to move this so that I can see that everything is perfect. These cuts were absolutely perfect. So I'm just getting that in place and making sure everything looks beautiful, awesome. Give that a good crease, pop it over, make sure you don't have any oozing glue. And um, I probably will put a piece of paper here by just using the back of this. In fact, why don't we just do that together? You trim off that white bit, just so that you can see what I'm talking about, because then you'd have another space here, okay? But if you wanted to see this image underneath, you, you don't have to do that. You could also put a pocket here and have a pocket hidden. So I might, I'm not gonna do anything with that. I might um, alter that um, before I take the, the pictures. I might hide a pocket in there. That is not even, let me pull that back over. I just saw that it was hanging over more on one side. So again, the gift of Fabri-Tac is you can uh, move it for quite a while, okay? So there we go. So again, you've got your spread. So this is your, um, your front, you know, it's on your, the right hand side and then but you could also if you like that image better you could do it opposite so I'm gonna let you go my friends and I'll see you in the next video thanks for your grace and understanding I love you all blessings bye bye